25 year old company and uh, I am the third generation in this business. The company was started by my grandfather and dad and today it's uh, me and my father we run the organization. We have a global presence. We are managing uh, the Indian subcontinent. So we manage uh, India, Nepal, Tibet, Bhutan, Sri Lanka and Maldives. Uh, we are a six time uh, national tourism award winning company and uh, we were awarded also the best experiential tour operator uh, in North India in 2014. Tourism has been in my family since generations. My great-great-grandfather, he was in the hotel business in what is Pakistan today. Two hotels in Pakistan. And then my grandfather, he was with the airlines. Uh, my dad, he's been in the industry since uh, 74. My uncles, my aunts. So while I was growing up, I couldn't have thought of anything but tourism. So I would say it's, it's in my blood. There's a lot of passion uh, in what we want to do because you know, it's, I would say it's, 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 it's a legacy which I'm carrying right now of uh, being uh, in the same industry as what my great-great-grandfather was. We actually come from uh, uh, the uh, state of Abbottabad and that's how we, uh, we get our family name Abbott. In partition we moved here. So my, my great great grandfather, he had to leave everything uh, in 47 and you know they moved here and then they had to start everything uh, all over again. So the royalty is all I would say gone but yeah it's, it's, it's a good feeling you know that uh, you know your ancestors were who they were. Today travelers is looking for you know authentic and real experiences. They don't want to get into that uh, uh, touristic trap. Statistically, 2012 uh, had 31% of travelers want dining experiences and now this is as high as 51%. So we are creating these uh, new ideas to do dining experiences uh, you know in the in the middle of the desert or some nice uh, amazing restaurants which we recommend to our clients people want uh, you know a sense of escape people today want to combine uh, two destinations that's another trend uh, which we are seeing for anyone who's coming to india i would say uh, jaipur is uh, besides the taj mahal Jaipur is like the entry point, you know, to experience, uh, you know, the bygone eras, the royalty, the palaces, the forts, uh, you know, the color which we always think about. I mean, that's how India is perceived. I mean, it's one of my favorite cities. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's a shopper's paradise. It's the pink city of the state of Rajasthan. So you're gonna experience uh, a riot of colors. It's it's a vibrant city. It's, it's full of life, uh, you know, the local markets are, are very colorful, they are busy. These are small uh, boutique hotels and they were the noble families. Uh, it was uh, probably the residence or the second home. And now, you know, they've converted them into nice heritage hotels. The family is uh, involved themselves and they are really professional because they take pride in what they're doing, what they're serving. And uh, it's, a, it's a different experience. So these hotels give you that character of India. And each room is different because, as you understand, it's a palace. Okay? It's not a modern structure that all rooms, uh, you know, have the same size. Don't be surprised that, you know, your uh, one room is bigger than the other or the washroom is uh, bigger than probably the, the bedroom, so to say. Uh, there are lots of them who are by the countryside, so it gives you that sense of escape. And a lot of these hotels are also, you know, adapting uh, sustainable tools and policies uh, they are employing uh, uh, local art so it's it's a different feeling and it is something which you will not find in big cities like in Delhi or or in uh, other Mumbai because these are modern cities and cosmopolitan cities